I'm in pain. Extreme pain. It would be smart to just go home, right? I seem to be in some sort of hospital. I'm not quite sure. But I see surgical equipment and syringes on the floor. A faint buzz of the radiator is the only thing I can hear. Drowned out by my frantic breathing. It feels like I'm drowning, but there's no water to be found. Slap, slap, slap. My feet are bare. I can see that much. The hall's just... dark. Unnaturally dark. Like closing hours. But this is a hospital, right? My head is getting worse. It's like someone's drilling into my brain and sticking pens and needles into my flesh. It hurts. Strange. The ground seems wet. The custodian must have just recently cleaned this area. Light. I see light. It must be in some sort of hallway. The light must be from an elevator. I can just barely make out the upswitch from the vague light provided by the numbers on top of the silver doors. I'm getting closer. Closer to freedom. I'm glad. I've arrived. I reached out my index finger and pressed the singular button. It lights up, bathing me in a gentle white light. Elevator music floods my ears. The door closes and I can hear the gears begin to turn. Look at the buttons. L. Lobby. If I go there, I can find someone, right? But what is the M for? I ignore it. I'm going up. Ding! The door opens. It's bright up here. I can only see the young woman working at the desk. It must be late. Really late. There are no patients here. No people. Nobody but her. I'll ask her where I am. I open my mouth to speak, but only a groan escapes my sore lips. She looks at me. Why is she screaming? I look around. Is there someone else here? That's when I see my reflection in the windows. I know it's mine, but because that's my face. My face. My shoulders. My arms. My stomach. My intestines. My heart. My blood. My bones. My flesh. My muscle. My liver. My spleen. Plop. My stomach falls out of the gaping hole in my abdomen.